Okay, let's just finish off this uh, program now. We'll um, we'll just get one final report and then we'll be done. So let's uh, let's have a look at the output. Let's uh, let's check out what we're getting at the moment. And um, we can see there. <coughs> We can see that it, it looks okay, but it's still fit, you know it's still hard to read because even when the years change, as in from 24 to 25, um, it's very hard to see. We don't we don't know what column means what at the moment. So we'd like to put some column headers in, and we'd like to do them every single year. So let's get to it, as they say. Okay, now the first thing I need to do is I need to set up. Um, what I need to do is I just quickly need to set up something that looks a little bit like that, but it isn't exactly the same. It's going to be, and you'll have to trust me on this, we will get to this later, I'm going to set up a string array of, uh, of header columns. So here we go, and uh, we're going to set up seven strings. And you'll just have to trust me on how this is working. So the first one will be year. The second one will be MN for month. Third one will be QMN, cumulative month. That will be payment. Um, interest, typing as fast as I can to save you getting too bored. Principal. And there we have balance at the end. Now this needs commas all the way down here. Super trooper. Oh. And there we go. We've now got some column headers <coughs> that we'll be able to use. Uh, later on inside the uh, inside the program. Okay, now let's get down here and now what we need to do is we need to take advantage of these variables I set up earlier, especially this one here, this switch year, which is currently being told is not being used. So we're going to start using it now. We're going to say if that switch year variable, which is here, if that switch year variable is not equal to, notice the exclamation mark, is not equal to the current year. And when we start off, you'll see the year is 1 and switch year is 0. So they're not the same. So we'll go into this if statement, into this conditional if statement. If they're not the same, then make them the same. So next time round, they'll both be 1, so we won't go into this. If statement um, and also as well print a header so just call print some random function name that will uh, will declare that function later so we'll be able to uh, print that at the moment I'll just I'll just do a quick oh it won't work I'll have to I'll have to put something in there now what we need to do then is we need to create this uh, this function so let's go up to the top of the program might be neat if we just put it under here so we can see what we're doing. Now it's going to be a void function. And a void function is sends um, a void function sends back nothing back to the calling uh, to the calling system. So this won't return an int. I mean, I could say int is going to return an int. I could say double it's going to return a double. But it's not going to return anything. So we're going into the void. We're not going to produce anything. OK, now we're going to do a C out. Uh, it's going to look a lot like um, the C out that we did in the last lesson. So let's just copy this. And just stick it in there and change the names to protect the innocent. OK, now obviously it's all completely wrong, but the, these are all right, but this is wrong. So what I need to do then is I need to take hold of this array, this bag of oranges. There's orange 1, orange 2, orange 3, orange 4, ah, but labelled 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And output those things there. 
And the first one's going to be a zeroth element. And I'll change that zero in a second. To one, two, three, four, or whatever. And uh, put a one in there. That's the second orange in the bag with a label one on it. It's the third orange in the bag with a label two on it. Remember, we all start at the ground floor and the first floor. Three, four, five. Six, and there we go. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing today again. Um, sort of shaking off a cold, but fortunately it doesn't come down a microphone, which is good for you. Right, so let's then... Oh, I need an end line in there, don't I? Because I need some kind of uh, visual... I need some visual kind of clue that we're breaking things. Let's move these over as well. I don't like these. because they're not starting a piece of code. It's the C out which is starting this executable section marked up by the semicolon. So let's move them all across. And I think we need more than one new line afterwards. So let's stick another new line on there. And I think we're just about there now. Now remember, we're not returning anything. So just uh, return. You could put a return statement in there. You don't need to, but uh, we, we won't because my life's too short. So we've got this statement here, that should print a header. Um, it will print zeroth element, first element. So that string there is referred to there. Uh, by one, by the way, one thing here. Normally we need to, unless we're using pointers and new and delete and a few things we'll get to later, we need to hard code this with a number such as, you know, seven elements. But we don't need to in this particular case because we've kind of immediately declared what the seven elements are and C++ is clever enough to go, aha, that's a seven. As long as it knows when it creates this array without pointers and new and delete, then we can we can do this without declaring the, the list here, which, which, which is useful. Okay, let's have a crack at this then. Let's, let's have a little run. Hope it works. This is something I've done wrong. That's succeeded crazy. Now you can see this is lovely now. Every time I get headers, year one. And then when it changes to year two, we get another header. Year two, month one, January, February, month 14 of the loan. And we get all the other figures. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, Andy, can't you put some commas in here? Uh, yes, you can, but I'm afraid that there's, we, we could kind of build our own little machine here. But there's a nice quick easy trick using locales and things. Late, and very very late, probably less than 200. But we'll need the standard template for that and I think your, my head will explode if I try to explain the standard template right here such that you could use it. But we will be putting commas in here later because this isn't really readable. Oh, you know, reading off uh, down the telephone line. But um, we will be putting commas in here later once we've got a standard template which is i'm afraid going to be about less than 550. so let's see if there's if, I, th I think we're just about done here there's um i think i think i think we'll leave this and we'll get onto strings arrays and pointers in a bit more depth because uh, we'll pure c plus plus for a while a couple of things i don't like i don't like this minus symbol on the balance this is actually probably minus 0 0.0000001 .0 .0 but it's coming out as a minus and that's just a bit too close to that last section. So let's just fix those last two little biddly bits and then we'll call it a day. Um, first thing is, I'll just make this an absolute value here. Just so it's no negative symbol, there we go. Now that absolute, which is taking off a negative symbol, just giving us an absolute size of something, is coming out of here. So if I didn't have that, we'd get a few errors. But one of the errors would be I don't know what I don't know what absolutely we don't know what power is anymore. And I should say I don't know what app yeah, I don't know what apps is anymore because 
we can't see this special library here. Let's put it back in again. So that's hiding inside there. Now I just need on that last little message, I just need a little end line there. And then that should uh, that should make me a happy bunny. And we might just do one more here, just for fun. Just sort of bosses with the hairstyles and the suits. Don't get too upset in the board meeting when they're going through this report. Right, let's give it a whiz. Oh, that's nice, and that's nice too. So we got rid of that horrible minus using the absolute function. And this is nice and neat at the end here. Let's just run this on the command line in the middle of the night in Australia. So, let's check my current working directory. Lovely. Uh, have I got this in the history? Yes, I have. Super. Run that. Bang. Got the nice non-negative zero there. And we got all the... Uh, oh, oh, my head's going to explode. Stop. Thank you. So you can see we've got all the... Uh, We've got all the bits and pieces we need there. And I think we'll call it a day there. See you next time.